locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Deck and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Deck and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. All right, five minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in this Monday morning. It is 66 degrees here at the studios of The Source, WOCA. Last week, Galen Newnold was on his vacation with his family. What a beautiful video he posted on Facebook. And, oh, it made uh, me cry. Just, it really just did. I had tears. Me, yeah, it touched you and touched me. Yeah. Uh, last week, Tom Davis sat in for Galen while Galen was on that vacation, and we had fun, yep. fun with Tom. But Galen is back, and he's on the phone. Good morning, Galen. Hey, good morning, Larry Robin. How are y'all? Oh man, you had that. I yeah. mean, you did the best thing you possibly could have done because that's that's a memory that every one of you, the all four of you, will never forget. Well, you know, and that's why I do it. That's why it, you know, because I'm asked all the time, why you know, why do you, why do you put that on Facebook? And I'm like, or, or YouTube. And I'm like, well, you know, because in in 30 years, you know, it, it's hard to keep a hold of a disc. But uh, I have a I have a pretty good idea that YouTube's going to be around for forever um well at least for exactly. our forever. that's what i hope too and, yeah, my, yeah that's my hope yeah i don't know if facebook will and, and be i decided you know let's do it i, I didn't want to make it private because it didn't you have to remember a password or something and uh you know and uh, there's nothing in there that uh, i'm not proud of or anything like that and i'm like yeah oh it's awesome but, you know i want my kids to be able to look at it in, in 30 years and have my grandkids look at it and, and um, I know I understand I, kind of what it was. And I know I take a lot of pictures, and it's just so nice the way that you chose the pictures that meant the most to you to put in that video because that you really captured all the moments, and you you don't have like a thousand pictures of one one day. No, what I tried to do, and it was it was really hard in Belize, was to uh, was to kind of get the size of it. I mean, we were only on the edge of the of the rainforest, but and inside the caverns was just simply spectacular and and um i i i tried i tried, and i that's why i kept trying to tell my wife she's like well it looks small there it looks like we're just on a walking trail i'm like well it, it's hard to capture it um with a photo that means anything and that's why i try to take them from different angles and everything but i mean i took like i don't know three thousand pictures i <laughs> believe that it. week sure and it's hard to it's hard to break that down um, and, you know, nobody's ever, you know, looked back in life and said, hmm, I wish I had fewer pictures. <laughs> that's right, right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You have to appreciate the fact that we don't need to spend money on film anymore, too. We're yeah. processing. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. And and I think that's, you know, I, I tell myself all the time, I'm like, this doesn't cost me anything to push this button to see how what it turns out that's right so, that's right that's right i was uh yeah i, I love belize so this belize is this is amazing. this is the time we set aside so we could kind of hear about your trip I, i'm anxious to hear yeah. about the, uh, the the canoe thing you guys did that looked like uh fun oh it did and, and i have to ask you about the lion mayan i i, I, I didn't understand that because the, the, okay. the video doesn't explain if he was lying <laughs> or if you we're told he was. I don't know. So, so before we do that, of course, Galen is on the phone to remind us of donating blood to Life South. Yes. We went. Uh, when did we go donate blood? Friday. 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 Fr Friday. Yeah. It was the blood mobile. It was in the public parking lot, and we said, "What? Well, let's go. Let's just go yeah. do it." We keep putting it off. So we went and did that. Um, and uh, let's see. So this segment is sponsored by Pen Flooring. Uh -huh. Get some beautiful flooring put into your home. You know, the House of Onesiphorus that Pastor Snyder just opened up needs some flooring. Yes, it does. So maybe you can go over to Penn Flooring and see what kind of options they have. They have a showroom so you can see for yourself. The address is 1201 Southwest 17th Street, just over the bridge, which is called the McKay Williams Bridge. <laughs> the Buddy McKay... Oh, and John Williams? was it John, John or John? Jim Williams? I can't Jim, remember. Jim, Jim. I think it was Jim. Okay. Jim, yeah. Yeah, so there's the McKay Williams Bridge. Yeah. Uh, my favorite part. Oh, again, okay. how's the blood? Uh, what's the blood oh, report? Yeah. We are, uh, as I kind of thought was coming, but uh, we're in critical need of O negative right now. So if you're an O negative donor, we need you to please get out there and get the gift of life. Because um, uh, we are very, very low from spring break. Um, our donations were way down in the area, and uh, we need to bring those supplies back up. Just give blood today, all types, really. 
There you go. Yeah. Uh, so I enjoyed so much of that video. I, I, I have to tell you, I really laughed out loud with the I Believe I Can Fly clip. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, and my, my, my son's like, why am I doing this? I'm like, I don't know. You're the one who came to the studio and <laughs> sang this song. He goes, oh, man. Oh, that's funny. And, and I, I, I'll, I'll be, I, I recorded it like four times. Oh, no. Because he, he, he kept... I mean, he's 14, and so, you know, they're, they're 14-year-olds are just moody. And, uh, and he's like, I don't want to do it. I'm like, you're going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Good no. for you. And, Good and for so, you. I did so that. <laughs> and when I took, the, the fourth one I took, he, he said, this is what we need to make the video about, and he didn't know I was recording it. Right, because of my, my little camera. It's, ah, uh, like okay. <laughs> and so I just kind of had it up, and he goes, I'm like, what are you talking about? And he goes, Hold this and say, I believe I could, and then I, I got that shot. <laughs> and I looked right at him and I'm like, I got you. And he goes, what are you talking about? I'm like, nothing. So it was, um, you know, and I, you, you mentioned the lion Mayan. And, yeah, tell know, me about it, the lion Mayan. Okay. So the lion uh, And lion, lion for the listeners, we're not, it, we're not spelling, we're not saying the name of the animal. We're saying as a liar, right? Yeah. Okay. No, as he's lying down. Oh, he's lying down. Oh, I thought he was telling lies. Yeah. Okay. No, did I spell it? No, I think I spelled it right. Mm. I don't know. I'll have to look at it now. I think it's spelled the same um, way, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think it is, right? Yeah, well, it is. if you look at it, he's lying down, and he's got a sloped forehead, <laughs> and then you see his face, and then you see a big <laughs> nose, and then you see a chin, and then you see the rest of his body. Oh, no. And, uh, Poor guy. At one time, and I, I had no idea that at one time there are two million Mayans on, in that area of Belize. And now there's only 300,000 people. Wow. So wow. It, yeah, it's, uh, I, I learned a lot. It, it was, uh, our guide was phenomenal and, and when, on the, on the cr little trip we took. But, um, a but if you look at it, and, and I'd seen it like on National Geographic or something, but it really does, once you see it, it really does look like somebody laying down. Um, but I, it, somebody has to actually point it out to you. And once you see the shape. See oh, wait a minute. So it's not an actual guy. It's a, it's a rock rock formation. Right. Right. Uh, oh. Right. Oh, oh. Okay. okay. I, I got to go back now and look at that. Okay. Now I yeah. see, now I hear yeah, what you're saying. Okay. Formation in the mountains, and uh, our our guide Gavin was amazing. He um. Oh, I thought he was telling lies. Of belief. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's a chicken king of Belize because he owns a chicken. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> restaurant. He's also he's also the mayor of the village in which he comes from, and uh, really, so he's really big into politics. And yeah, it was just a just a real smart guy. He, he's got like three degrees, and um, I'm like, what are you what are you doing? He goes, oh, I make more money doing guides and all of that other stuff combined. Oh, really? I believe so, it. Yeah, I believe yeah. it. Oh, wow! It was awesome. It so, was, it Belize was incredible. It was everything I'd hoped it would be. And so, the, and the I people had really high expectations. But the people walking when you were doing your kayaking with the uh, uh, mm -hmm. flotation devices on them and everything, they they just looked like they were just so excited to be in that moment at that particular time. Well, you know what was amazing is you walk and and you walk. I don't know. I think it was about a little less than a two mile walk. Um, but you didn't realize it was that far because everywhere you looked was just something new and beautiful. And, and along the way, um, our tour guide would tell us about the importance of this plan and this plan. And um, it really was spectacular. It, the, the views were just simply phenomenal. And, um, and we were only on a small, on the edge of the rainforest. And our guide also takes people out and they go out and they find and, and they photograph uh, jaguars. And wow. He, said that, he says he, tr he does that about once a month and they go out for five days and set up in this treetop stand that they have to build on site to wait for the jaguars to come in. Um, he, I'm like, are you kidding? He goes, no. I'm like, man, I want to do that now. Yeah. Oh, wow. look, I mean, seeing a jaguar and and, and its natural habitat. Yeah, really. Be, really, really. I mean, that would be so cool. By the way, I, I also enjoyed the fact that you used one of James Taylor's songs. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I... I, I, I thought, I, really? I, wow, Galen's using a James Taylor song. I love James Taylor. I didn't I know do. that. I, I love James Taylor. Oh, yeah, the whole time I was uh, <laughs> uh, I was in Mexico, I was singing that song, and, and my wife... 
My wife had never heard it. Oh, I'd no. Never heard way down here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So uh, oh, that's too funny. yeah, I put that in there, and then uh, uh, the the other song I use is um, the second song in Belize is One Tribe by um, uh, Black Eyed Peas. So uh, that's, uh. that's a great song. All right, so let's take a little break, and then uh, and then we'll be right back here about Galen's trip a little bit more. I'm I'm looking forward to it. The weather is brought to you by myfwc.com. Safe boating is no accident. It'll be partly sunny today with a shower or thunderstorm around this afternoon to this evening. The high today, 81 to 85. And partly cloudy later tonight, though, 64 to 68. Tomorrow, partly sunny and warm with a chance of a shower or thunderstorm in the afternoon. High, 83 to 87. For Wednesday, partly sunny and warm with a chance of a late-day thunderstorm. The high, 84 to 88. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. Hi, I'm Seth with AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Have you ever thought about the locks or security on your house or business? Have you ever wondered why the keys to your new car cost so much? Well, at AA Lock, Dock, and Security, we can help with securing your valuables. We can even replace those expensive transponder keys. We can give you the knowledge that no one else will. Call AA Lock, Dock, and Security at 867-1965. That's 867-1965. are getting a little retool. Swear to God, not making a joke. Check this out. New shows? Check. Some new talent? Check. Let's welcome the guys. Let's get it going. Arnie Spanier. Unbelievable. TJ Reeves. This is what you get. <laughs> Your weekends are on fire. Because that's how exotic it is. We are Fox all right, 16 minutes after 8 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. Galen Unold from Life South Community Blood Center is on the phone back from his vacation to yeah. uh, Central America, to the country of Belize. Yep, he and his family. Do you know, uh, I had promised my brother Bill that I would, I would because he didn't like them. He, he went on a cruise and down to... Oh Cozumel. Gosh, Cozumel. Cozumel. And, and, and uh, they, they went scuba, scuba diving. Diving. And so they had this video that was made... But he didn't like the music that the video company put on there, so he asked me if I would change the music. Well, my computer had crashed a couple weeks ago, and so I never did it. And then when I was watching your video, I said, oh my gosh, I forgot I never did the video for my brother. So when I did the video, I just watched your video. Yeah, you did and you, Saturday. And you were on the Liberty of the Seas, right? Right, right. So then I'm doing his video, and his, his ship is another ship with some similar name. I can't remember the name of his ship. But right next to But right yours. next to right next to his ship is the Liberty of the Sea. So I said, Hey, I just saw that oh, boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But the video yeah, turned out good. It's wonderful. You know, I was very disappointed. I, you know, we talked about snorkeling like what, the day before I went or something. Right, right, um, right. And and uh, it, that was the start of our dune buggy ride and we really didn't care about snorkeling. I love to snorkel and I'm like, We're here, let's go. It's part of the it's part of the whole package. Um, my wife didn't go in, but me and the boys did. And the pictures make it look awesome. <laughs> and but, they do. Um, it, but it was really, the, the fish you see are all the fish that were in the ocean within a mile. Because they were feeding them. And, and what they're trying to do is build a reef right there, right next to the port as a tourist stop. Um, but it, it's only been in existence for about five years. Wow. And so the fish weren't that great. But um, I, ha I got this underwater camera, uh, and, and it took some really good pictures. I was really impressed with it. So, because I took that same camera that I use underwater, and then I did all the shots of the dune buggy ride. So, so. tell us oh, about wow. tell us so about the. It was a hundred. It was a. It was an eighty-five dollar camera. I was like, this thing's awesome. Oh wow! That's so. a great price. So tell us about the yeah. the kayaking in the caves, and and could you go in that water? Like, were there piranhas in that water, or anything like that? There. There were no piranhas. It was fresh water, but um, but there were no piranhas. No oh, piranhas are salt water. Spring fed. Okay. Um, oh. uh, uh, yeah, piranhas are fresh water. Yeah, um, but I'll, I'll talk. it was all right. It, it's like taking. It was very very similar to going down the Rainbow River or the Silver Springs River, because the water was crystal clear. It was all spring fed, but you would go through these patches where you would have these wide open areas and then you would go into these caverns that the Mayans used as temples and as you know places for their offerings and their sacrifices to the 187 gods that they had 
and it was spectacular. It, it's it. I, could, I never got a picture that really showed the really? beauty of inside the caverns. Wow! Because when you're in there, it was pretty dark, and and I didn't have a flash. Um, but it was breathtakingly beautiful. Because- it was, and I I told my wife, I'm like, I could live here, and I I don't say that about uh, you know some of the countries we play, but I could live in Belize. So I, I could move to Belize tomorrow. Now I want to get the the, the kind of raft you're in. It looks like a kayak with a with a seat. It's a, well, it's a tube. It's a tube. It's inflatable. It's an inflatable tube with a back. It was, it, and we had a paddle. It was, it was fantastic. Were you feet in the water, or were you like in? I mean, we were wet, uh, but the water was really. It was, it was great. It was like seventy four degrees or something. You can make some we money with that here. Water. Oh yeah, it was it was it was beautiful. We he took inside this cavern. There was this waterfall, and one of the pictures I took, the sun is coming through the cavern where there's like a sinkhole, and inside is like this oasis. And I tried to capture. I put it in there. It doesn't. It's not a great shot, but it's the best I could do. Um, and and right next to where I took it is this waterfall, and the water's coming straight from the spring and coming over the rocks. Oh wow! And I'm like I kept. I, I'm like. I tell my wife to drink it. I'm like, drink it and taste it. And the water was really, really sweet. Oh, really? So, wow. So I when sat you there and drank it for like five minutes. Did you? So. Did you? Was bed always on the ship, or did you sleep on the land? No, no, no. We 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 would uh, always on the ship. So we were only in Belize for nine, ten hours. But um, which is, I, I could have. I'm serious. I could move there tomorrow. Really? I, I loved it. I love the people. Um, they're extremely nice. Did you go to the Everyone grocery store? <laughs> We're gro- no, grocery no, they, they don't have a public. What kind of work would you do uh, if you lived there? <laughs> I don't know. I'd figure it out. But apparently, It'd they have a, a lot of, uh, they have a lot, it's a growing economy. Um, you know, it, it's really, it, it's booming. And according to Gavin, he's a young guy. He says, uh, year over year, our economy is growing by 100%. So every year, so politically, kind of politically, Belize is okay. Aren't there, aren't some of the neighboring countries of Belize like really in bad shape politically speaking? Yeah, you, you, we've got there are problems. That's for sure. And and we were actually uh, as we were driving down the road, they were stopping cars and doing checkpoints. We drove for thirty five minutes, I guess, from where the port was to the to to where the rainforest was and this and the and our the water and our, our little river. And we were stopped twice for uh, for a check, and I'm like, Gavin, what are they looking for? And he goes, Well, they're looking for for uh, human smugglers, you know, people who are doing, you know, the sex slaves. Oh, I'm like you're kidding. He goes, Oh no. He says that's the big thing right now. I'm like, they're not looking for drugs. He goes, If they find drugs, it's great, but um, drugs aren't the problem right now. It's human trafficking. Really? And yeah. Yeah, and I said they must. Do, I mean, where are these people coming from? He says they're coming up through because Belize is the central part of Central America. That is so scary know, that that happens. Because people are trying to get to Mexico. Because once they get to Mexico, they they can get into the U.S. Right. Right. And exactly. so Belize is 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 surrounded by these other countries um, that people are just trying desperately to get out of. And. Uh, you know, and human trafficking is a big problem. So I wonder how many they rescued. You know, a lot of kids turning into, um, you know, he, he didn't talk about it specifically. He said that they find them all the time. I mean, you got Guatemala right there, which is having a huge economic problem. Um, that's on one border. But uh, it's, see, that would scare me if, if I had if I had a daughter and I went Honduras to Honduras is there, El Salvador. See, but if I knew that was happening, wouldn't you be afraid to bring your daughters there if you had young daughters? Not, but but they're not coming from Belize. They're coming from Honduras and El Salvador. Oh, so I don't go there then. Nicaragua, right? But they're they're going, they're they're using Belize as a pass through, and and uh, you know he talked about Obama. It was crazy. I've, I've you know he's a black man. I figured he'd like Obama. No, he doesn't like Obama at all because he's messing with their politics and um, he, he's Obama's trying to control what they're trying to do with their banking and oh. um, all, all these other things. I was amazed by that. So we talked a lot about that. That is interesting. I like yeah. I like I liked uh, Gavin a lot. I mean, I, so language I, wasn't an issue. Gavin, uh, right. There was no language barrier. I mean, what's the natural language? Oh, the, no, their they national their national language is English because they were a former oh, okay. British colony. The British moved there to actually harvest all of their uh, their wood. 
Um, they, they have a lot of wood, and also uh, they had huge sugarcane fields. Um, that's where so, he, he, Gavin was saying 75% of all of the uh, sugar that is imported in the United States comes from Belize. Right, I never wow, knew that. never knew that. Right. I didn't know that either. Let's take a f- yeah. phone call from a listener. Good morning. Thank you for calling. You're on the air with Galen. Yes, good morning, everybody. And, uh, welcome back, Galen. Say, Thank you. Uh, did, was Belize called British Columbia at one time? No, no, I don't think so. I mean, it's been called, uh, what do they call it? They called it uh, something Honduras. It was a northern Honduras or something like that, but it... They, when when they became its own country, that's when they called it Belize, because the city yeah. of Belize. Uh, on, on your ship, uh, how was the security that? Did you have to go through a lot of uh, stuff to go on, no. on and off, you know, uh, checkpoints and stuff? No, no. Once you go on, you go through a scanner where they scan your 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 yeah. sea pass or really your card, and and that's about it. They do some luggage. I mean, there's no real security threat there. Yeah. What, what is the currency there? Uh, it's the Belizean dollar, and it's about fifty cents to the U.S. dollar. Oh, really? So you felt rich? But, but yeah. But okay. Another reason why I could have moved you. there. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I really enjoyed. Yeah, the... it was called British. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think it was called British Honduras or something like that I when think the British so. owned it. Yeah, I yeah. just looked that yeah. up. That's what it says, yeah. I, I, I like the fact that when you were on the ship with your family, you had to dress up. To, to go to dinner and and I uh, liked your son's bow tie. I thought that was real snazzy <laughs> looking. Yeah, you're, you're two well, young guys. Night in which you have a formal night. They're young men right now. They're not boys anymore. Well, you know, it's amazing that the um, we we I love the formal night because it you know it, it makes you get dressed up and the boys yes. enjoy it. My wife loves it. It's a great date. Um, but you know, one night you get dressed up in formal night and you go to dinner take these great photos and uh we we have a photo of the first cruise we're on in which my they came up to my wife's just above her hips and now they're up to her shoulders and so we have these <laughs> four photographs side by side and you can really tell how much they've grown and um it's it's awesome they, the ship was great we we really really enjoyed it wow. we liked it so much we went ahead and booked our next trip while we were on the ship and where are you going next what's your next one well, our next one's going to be a nine-day cruise, and we're going to go to um, we're going to go back to Haiti. We've been to Labadee, Haiti before, but it was pouring rain. And then we're going to go to San Juan. Then we're going to go to uh, Saint Thomas. Then we're going to go to Saint Martin, and then we're going to go to Saint Kitts. Wow! Oh, wonderful! Did you do the, uh, the the surfboard thing on the ship? Did you do that? I I didn't um, because I did it last time, and I I it it's hard. It looks like it hurts it's hard. when you fall. It doesn't hurt at all when you fall. Oh, really? Oh. You know, because you hit the water and it's broken up and no, nobody gets hurt. It looks painful, but... <laughs> you get thrown to the back there of the... some people who are really good. I mean, my kids, they were standing up, which was... I, I made, I, you know, I adjusted the film a little bit. Because Caleb, Caleb wasn't as good as his little brother. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> it was it was fun, and then you could also boogie board, and I boogie board, but I, I didn't stand up because I stood up last time, and that hurt. No, oh, wow. I liked so. your commentary because in one of the clips of the boys uh, surfing like that, you said, "There you go, you're up." That was just so great. Yeah. That's, to hear a, that's your the voice, coaching, Galen. Galen. He's that. a he's a coach. Yeah, Galen. that's true. Galen's a coach. Like I, I don't know any, and I tell him, I'm like, I don't know what I'm supposed to tell him, but um, it's different. Than, and, and I've surfed and I've skateboarded. What's different is the water's coming at you. You know, usually when you're surfing, you're riding with the wave, and it, it, it's, it's a completely different concept. When you're surfing, you want to keep your weight towards the front. When you're doing this, you want to keep the weight to the back, and that, that's just really difficult for me to grasp. Well, so. it, it was it was cool that you shared it with everybody. I mean, we f- we felt like we we're part of it, and yeah. and uh, you know, you, you're part of our lives, and and so it's kind of nice yeah. to see that yeah. that part of your life. And your wife is so beautiful. Christy is a well, doll. Thank you. So we, beautiful. We had a great time. We all had a great. Time. All right, now we got to get to work. <laughs> yeah. I know you hate doing that. I but, know. <laughs> uh, how's, uh, let's see, where's the Bloodmobile today? Bloodmobile today, Larry. We're actually at the Walmart on the Hay Avenue out in the uh, shorts. Today. And where, where are you right now? I'm at work. Oh, yeah. you're already at work? Okay. Uh, yeah. If you can't get to the Bloodmobile, then go next door to the Cascades on Silver Springs Boulevard. That's where Life South is. They have currently, let's see, we gave blood three days ago, so I guess our yep. blood has already met the people. It is now there. It is now in 
in. It is in the hospital. Somebody. Yeah, it's it somebody. is at the hospital. And, yeah. of course, in Danella, next to Winn-Dixie, is, is the other place in, in Marion County. Uh, thank you, Galen. Thank, it was fun listening to you talk about it. Well, thank you for allowing me the opportunity, that's for sure. And uh, please, give blood. What a great memory. Yeah. Thank you, Galen. Have a yeah. great day. All right, you guys are the best. Bye, y'all. All right, we'll be right back. Ready to go. I'm Pam Puso. Calling it a once in a lifetime opportunity, President Obama is defending the framework nuclear agreement reached with Iran, but Israel doesn't see it that way. Don't give the preeminent terrorist state of our time the access to a nuclear program that could help them make nuclear weapons. It's very bad for all of us. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu on NBC's Meet the Press. In an interview with the New York Times, the president says U.S. defense of Israel is unshakable. Kenya's military launching airstrikes against Islamic militants in Somalia, the strikes in response to last week's attack on a Kenyan college that killed 148 people. They were singing at a church in northern New Jersey when part of the ceiling collapsed. We uh, certainly believe that God is with us because nobody really died. About a dozen people were hurt, though. Fox News, we report, you decide.